Hello. Well, in this tutorial, we're gonna do this washcloth. If you like to to do this and you like this uh, this style, it's like a diagonal uh, stitch. I think you can do a washcloth with this. You can do a blanket even. It's very easy. It's very easy. It's reversible, as you can see. Very very easy, and it has these ridges. It's really nice. Okay, with this we're gonna start to do the slip knot. You're gonna do the slip knot the way you like. I'm just gonna do the way I do it. So I put my yarn, I put my hook over this yarn. I'm holding the tail and the working yarn. Twist and then pull the yarn through that loop and then make it a knot in there. Okay, now what we're gonna do? We're gonna chain two. So yarn over, pull the yarn through the loop, yarn over, pull the yarn to the loop. So we have two chains here. We're gonna go into the first chain here that we made, this one. We're gonna skip this one and in the first chain that we made, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do two single crochets. So you go back again into the same chain, that first one, and do a single crochet, chain one. And now turn your work. And now we have two stitches. So we're gonna go into the first stitch through the back loop. So this is the front loop. And in here it's the back. Those are the back loops. So go into the back loop, pull up a loop and then do a single crochet and we're gonna go back into the first stitch here where we did this single crochet and we're gonna do another single crochet. So we're gonna do two single crochets in that first stitch. Then we're gonna go into the last stitch here into the back loop. This is the front loop, this one here is the back. So you insert your hook behind that back loop and then do a single crochet, go back again into the same stitch through the back loop and do the second single crochet, then chain one, turn your work and now we have four stitches, one, two, three and four. Now into the first stitch, this one here, through the back loop, we're gonna place in that first uh, stitch two single crochets, so pull up a loop, do a single crochet, go back again into the first stitch and do the second single crochet, then move to the next stitch through the back loop and do a single crochet, only one. Move to the next stitch through the back loop, this is the front and this is the back. So you do a single crochet. Now when you reach the, in the last stitch here, we're gonna do, through the back loop, we're gonna do two single crochets. So one, go back again and do the second. Chain one, turn your work. <coughs> and now before we had four stitches, now we have six because we keep increasing into the first stitch and the last stitch. So always with this stitch you're gonna do in the first stitch, back loop, two single crochets and in the last stitch, two single crochets through the, the back loop. In between, between the first and the last, you're gonna put through the back loop in each stitch only one single crochet. So now the first stitch is here, we're gonna go in there through the back loop and we're gonna place in that stitch two single crochets. So go back again and do the second and until we reach the last stitch, we're gonna place through the back loop in each stitch only one single crochet. So move to the next stitch, back loop, do a single crochet. Move to the next stitch, back loop. You see, these ones are the back loops. So you do a single crochet, move to the next stitch, back loop, single crochet. Next stitch, also back loop, single crochet. The front loop is here, 
Yeah, it kind of pushes down. So now we reach the end. We have the single crochet here, the last stitch. So in this stitch, through the back loop, we're gonna go in there and gonna do two single crochets. Let's go back again. Chain one. Turn your work. And again, the first stitch. Now keep increasing this. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. You, you either you would like to do a blanket with that with this stitch or a washcloth. You know, it's very very easy. So the first stitch, it's here. Back loop. We're gonna place in there two single crochets. So go back again and do a single crochet. And now in each stitch through the back loop, we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch. When we reach the end, then we're gonna do two single crochets. So move to the next stitch, single crochet, back loop only. This stitch it's worked only through the back loop. Next stitch, single crochet, back loop only. So now we reach the end, this is the last stitch here. So in through the through the back loop two single crochets. Then you're gonna chain one and for example you work, you keep working. The more you do, each time you increase in the beginning and the end the work will go bigger, you know, grow bigger and bigger and wider. Now if you want to make a blanket or a washcloth, you're gonna have for example a blanket, you're gonna measure from this corner to this corner. And you're going to say, okay, it's wide enough, because that is going to show you the whiteness, how wide the blanket or the, the washcloth is going to be. Yeah. So now when you say it's enough and you want to, to stop, you're going to start decreasing. So after you chain one at the end, you're going to start decreasing. So you're going to go into the first stitch through the back loop pull up a loop, move to the next stitch, back loop, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pass the yarn through all these three loops. And now what you're gonna do in each stitch through the back loop single crochet until we reach the last two, uh, two stitches, yeah, here and here. So let's do that. So move to the next stitch, back loop, do a normal single crochet, next stitch, back loop single crochet and so on until we reach the, the last two stitches to decrease. So pay attention when you have the last two. So we have one more to do, normal single crochet and now we have two stitches left, one and two. So you're gonna go to the next stitch, pick up a loop, move to the next stitch, pick up a loop. You have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull the yarn through all these three loops, chain one. Turn your work and you're going to keep doing like this. So the first stitch is here, back loop, pick up a loop, move to the next stitch, back loop. You have three loops on your hook, pull the yarn through all three loops. Then you're going to do single crochet in each stitch through the back loop like normal until you reach the last two stitches. So you go there, so we have two left, one and two, so you go through the next stitch, pick up a loop, go to the last stitch, through the back loop, pick up a loop, three loops, pull the yarn through all three loops, chain one, turn your work. And you're going to do like this until you finish, you don't have any more stitches, so I'm going to show you until I reach the end, so the next, the first stitch back loop, pull up a loop, move to the next stitch, pull up a loop, three loops, pull the yarn through all three loops. Now we're going to do single crochets through the back loop until we reach the last two stitches. So we have only two here left, go to the next, pull up a loop, go to the next, the last one, three loops, pull the yarn through all three loops, chain one, turn your work. And now you have left with four stitches. So you're going to go into the first stitch, back loop, pull up a loop, move to the next stitch, pull up a loop. You have three loops, pull the yarn through all those three loops. Yeah. So you're going to go 
into the next, pull up a loop and into the next, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, pull the yarn through all three loops. Then you have the, I would say, the blanket closed, you finished. So if you want to, to do a border, then you're going to chain one and you're going to go around like this. And you're going to do single crochets. Well, you're going to have to be careful to put enough. Yeah, so you're going to go like this. And when you reach, let's say, pick up in there. When you reach here the corner, then in this one, you're going to put three single crochets to form that corner. Yeah. Then you're going to move to the next and you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, as best as you can, because there is no rule how to do it, how many. Yeah. So you go to the next, now well, let's try in here. you have the next do a single crochet so now you reach the the corner so you're gonna do in here three one go back again and do the second and the third yeah so you see the corner it's already formed here so now you're gonna move to the next spaces in there to place single crochets around as best as you can So you go in there and now you reach the, the corner. So in here you're gonna place in there three single crochets. So one, go back again into the same space, do the second, go back again into the same space and do the third. So you already have the, the corners here. Yeah. So you move to the next space somehow. You're gonna do single crochets around the, the edge of the, the work. Somehow. So now you're going to move here and in this one here you're going to do three single crochets. So one, two and three. So in here the, the stitch here you're going to go in there and you're going to do a slip stitch or a single crochet the way you like to, to do it. Yeah. So yeah, it's not easy to, to place single crochet around the work. Depends on the stitch that you're going to work with. Maybe we should do a single crochet in there and then slip stitch in the next. So we're going to go in there and we're going to do a single crochet. And then you're going to go into the next stitch and you're going to do a slip stitch. Yeah. So you have the... Then you're going to chain one here, cut the yarn and then make the... hide the, the tail. So yeah, this is the... You know... I, I have no problem, for example, with this uh, with this sides, but some of you might say, no, I want to put a fancy uh, fancy border. Well, then you're gonna do that. But I have no issue the way the the sides are for this washcloth or a blanket. Yeah. So well, if you like to to do this uh, this stitch, please give it a try. This is what we worked here. You can put it like this or like that, the way you like. So yeah, it's really nice. It's uh, reversible. So if you like, you can uh, do this stitch. It's very easy, especially a blanket will go really fast. But like I said, I have no issue with the border, the way the 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 edge of the this dishcloth looks like. So if you want something fancy, well then good luck placing uh, you know the right amount of single crochets or whatever on each side that, that will not look one bigger and uh, one smaller. I don't know. So yeah, well this is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Have a good day.